Welcome everybody to my garbage YouTube channel. Today we're going to be talking about the school bus. The worst place on earth. Now I've been going to school for I'd say some time now. Probably most of my life. Anyway, I've been on the bus all of my life too. Occasionally going, uh, like getting, getting a ride by my mom. Anyway, now the bus back in like, I don't know, kindergarten and elementary school was not that bad. Because I was only on there for a solid... 20 minutes at the most because I lived like kind of close to my elementary school but now now in high school and also middle school I guess uh middle school we do not talk about that time middle school is the worst time of your life if you're in middle school uh stay hang in there we we all we all love you not really though I don't know who you are anyway so the bus since like sixth grade has just been horrible. It's been the worst experience of the school day ever. Except maybe health class. I hate health class so much. Health class sucks. Actually, in, in recent years in high school, it's been getting better because, like, well, it's actually still bad, but like, it's, it's better than it's better than middle school definitely. Because middle school, I I was mi in middle school, and the high schoolers were uh, bigger than me, so they bullied me. But they didn't really bully me. They were just like dominant they were the dominant species on my bus so like what am i supposed to do sit there and be good no i'm not allowed to do that anyway in like sixth to seventh grade i was a bad child on the bus at least i was in the school i was fine on the bus <clears throat> in sixth grade i was throwing paper i was being a bad boy I'm, i was such a bad child in sixth grade and everything it was horrible. Anyway, getting to the actual points of the thing, I'm gonna tell you about my other horrible times that don't involve me being the villain. So it started in like seventh grade because I was a seventh grader. The sixth graders seemed like just inferior beings, so they were. So I constantly uh, tormented them over and over. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't do that anymore. I do it to eighth graders now. Guys, please. I just need one win for today. Anyway, so <coughs> there was this one sixth grader that I will not name names, but I'm gonna name him uh, Sabase. That's what his name is gonna be. So Sabase, he one day stole my phone. I will. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, I'm bad kid. <laughs> Anyway, so I will explain how this happened, how he stole my phone. It all started on one crisp autumn day. Actually, it was summer. It was boiling. It was like 90 degrees. I had this little phone that I had for like a month. And I, I dropped it because I had like really bad pockets that day. I don't know. Bad pockets. What? Anyway, I dropped it. It fell out of my pocket. And so the next day, I asked the bus driver, hey, uh, did anybody pick up my phone or anything? And she was like, yeah, one kid did. And then... I'm just gonna die here, ain't I? I did die. So, I asked the bus driver, she says, yeah, somebody did find it. I'm like, all right, uh, where is it? She's like, he's holding it or something like that. And I get confused because like, bruh, why are they holding my phone? Why am I getting shot from across the map? Why is he still shooting my island? I don't understand. Find out next time in Dragon Ball Z. I asked my friend Mar Monation, and he says that Sabase has it. And I, I then continued to ask Sabase, hey, where's my phone? Where is it, my boy? So, this man will not stop. Why are you doing this? I don't understand. Time to battle. Did not mean to... Frick, I'm not going to battle this man. I'm not even going to be able to get across, aren't I? I'm going to bow from other areas of the map. This is a scam. Why are you bowing me? Hey! Alright. So, I asked Sabase, and... He's like, oh, I, 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 I don't know where your phone is. I gave it to, I gave it to Mon Nation. I, I, I ask Mon Nation, and he's like, I don't know, I don't know what he's talking about, man. He, he didn't give it to me. So then, it's just a big old cluster frick now, and, and then the next day, <laughs> Sabase, he walks up to me while I'm in the library, and he's like. Hey, what's the password to your phone that you lost? And I instantly realized... <laughs> Alright, <laughs> gonna repeat there. He asked me for my password to my lost phone. <laughs> so I, I proceed to not give it to him. <laughs> and he's all disappointed. And I ask him, hey, where's my phone? And he just doesn't know. Why are you still bullying me? Where, why? Anyway... So he, 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 then, the next day, I realize that he actually has my phone, and he's playing it on the bus. That's a bro moment, and he's playing, like, some bad game, like, 
just some one of them random mobile games that you'll download off off like the Play Store at 3 a.m. <laughs> like Race Shadow Legends. So he's playing some garbage mobile game on the phone, and I and I realized because I was a really reckless boyo in middle school. It has the same exact cracks as when I lost it. Yeah, I remembered the cracks. Deal with it. I don't know how. I don't know why I remembered the cracks. I just, I just did. So <laughs> I knew he stole my phone. I knew it was it was there when in his little tiny bony hands because this guy was skinny. He was the smallest six grader I ever seen. He was like, <sighs> let's go. Anyway, so for the next like rest of the school year, I I proceed to torment this man every day. I ask him, where's my phone? Where's my phone? Where's my phone? And me and Mar me and Ma Nation actually both got into this. Like we were just. <laughs> We just tormented this man every day. It was funny. I mean, the thing, the thing was we were allowed to because he stole my phone. And I knew he stole my phone. You cannot say that he didn't. Why am I bad at scroll wheel? Just all of a sudden. Jesus Christ, I'm bad. I cannot commentate one single bit. By the way, what do you think of my new uh, texture pack? I like it. It's the Huawei Sonic pack. Anyway, so the, the, the phone thing never really turned out to be a big deal because I imagine that kid probably dropped it down the well the next day because he's such an idiot. Oh, oh, he's just gonna sit there the entire game. Any anyway, next school story or bus story. I oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Wait, hold on. <laughs> I, he's bee hopping and everything. Oh. <laughs> Oh my god, cold and stark. Oh my god, reach, fly. Oh, wait, where'd he go? He, no, wait, he's over there now. Where is he? <laughs> this man's a god, he's so good at the game. Look at him go. He didn't even take knockback, he has really good ping. Nice share. Next bus story. So this bus story is probably the most entertaining one you're gonna get, <laughs> because it was so fun. It was so funny too. So I was sitting there on the bus, just minding my own business. When I hear the loudest smack I ever heard, it was like, like that. And it was on the back of some guy's neck. And this man, <laughs> he got up and started wailing on the guy who, who, who smacked his neck. It was amazing. It was so cool. And I was like three feet away from it. I can't believe how lucky I was to be within that range and not die instantly because the force at which he was pounding this man it hit this pan this man's skull was ripped in half but no it wasn't I'm, I'm 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 overly exaggerating i'm sorry oh turn turn your head to me turn your head to me thank you Th these people were going at it all right so one person the guy who got smacked in the neck uh he's like kind of tall and lanky I, I he's not really lanky he's more like he's not fat but he's like not skinny either. It's I guess normal size. I don't know what you want to call it. Do whatever. I don't care. Why did I talk? I'm bad at Sky Wars. Anyway, so the other person, the, the player number two, he he's kind of like not skinny whatsoever. Uh, he's kind of chubby, uh, but not fat. More like fat, something like that. I don't know what you want to call it. How you describe that? He's he's not obese, but he's kind of overweight. Anyway, I'm gonna stop describing this man's fatigue and <laughs> talk about his fight. Anyway, so they start wailing on him. Oh, the fat man. Uh, he absorbs every single hit. I'm gonna die. I just died instantly. So this man is absorbing every single hit that comes at him, like. Botamo from Dragon Ball Super and I can't believe what I'm seeing it just it goes on for about 45 seconds too so that, that's probably the best part how long it went on because most bus fights go on for a solid three seconds before the bus driver I heard that wait is this guy hacking is this guy ha he's hacking wait he's hacking you know what the f <laughs> okay Okay, 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 that's two hackers in one video, Th four games apart, I mean like two games apart actually, two hackers, holy heck, anyway, so the fight doesn't really go on much from there, it's just more like, 
the not fat guy, not skinny guy, uh, whales on the not fat. <laughs> oh my god, he just stole everything from that chest. Not the skinny guy. It, w it was a cool fight though, because one guy who's known for getting into fights actually broke that fight up. It was pretty weird to see that happen because he never breaks up any fights. He he's normally one who starts the fight, or is getting got into the fight. Speaking of the guy who actually uh, broke up the fight, I'm gonna tell you about a time he was in a fight. You know, just to lengthen this video out, three stories. I think that's pretty good for a video. There's a, there's gonna be a part two to this video, guaranteed. There's so much things I can talk about. It's so epic that I'm on this bus, but it's also bad because I'm on there for an hour and twenty minutes. Anyway, the fight plays out like this. It starts off like this. This this is a it's an over it's an overarching story where one guy. The guy who gets in the most fights, the guy I was talking about, we're gonna give him a stage name. His name is gonna be Cabbage. That's gonna be, that's his name. So Cabbage is talking about the other guy's sister, and the guy we're gonna call him Tom. Tom's sister. Tom's sister is getting insulted by this man. Cabbage describes this man describes Tom's sister as using birth control and stuff like that. That's, that's all I really said. That, that's all I really know what he said. Anyway, so the so Tom gets incredibly enraged and the next day is the best day of my life because this man, Tom, tells everybody in the back of the bus, all right, I'm gonna beat I'm gonna beat I'm gonna beat this man up. And he proceeds to do so. And he does that in the best fashion ever. He gets off the bus, and as he's getting off the bus, he, he just starts wailing on the guy. It's so great. So he walks past the seat. And immediately does a 90 degree turn and starts beating the freak out of him, man. It was so cool, man. Oh, I fell off. I'm horrible at this this game you call Skywars. And I did not deserve to win that fight. Whatsoever. He's probably gonna friend me, tell me to kill myself, and unfriend me again and put me on ignore ignore list anyway. So this fight goes on for about three seconds, like I described earlier, how bus fights go. When the bus driver gets up, he gets out of his seat because they were right next to each. They were right next to the bus driver. Uh, why are you? You have the princess kit. I want to wear your princess stuff. Hold on. Oh, he just has that kit. Never mind. That's not the princess kit. Have a good day. So the bus driver stands up from his seat. He like leaps up, grabs grabs Tom by his waist or by well, actually more like his stomach. Why? Who is this? Who's this random non? <laughs> I wonder if he's a fan. This man's probably gonna, probably a fan. He's probably, like, I know you. Mm. I'm gonna die to this man right now. Oh no! Unless I can get the epic combo. Nope. Hey. Anyway, back to the topic of the video. So, the bus driver grabs the guy by, the, grabs Tom by the waist and yeets him off the bus. He, he legit yeets him off the bus. He, like, he threw him out the window. Not out the window. Out the, out the door. Thank you for promoting me, by the way. Thank you. He throws him out the bus door. And he, he just rolls onto the, rolls onto the grass next to the pavement. Because we live out in the country. The, there's grass everywhere. You know. Wait. Do, oh, sh Hold on. Wait. This guy... This guy like actually a hacker. Hold on. Whoa! Oh! Oh no! Oh no! He actually is. He actually is. He actually is a hacker. No! no. I. You bet I e date. Does this guy have like random things typed out already? He just. Re Holy heck, this this three hackers in a row. That was bewildering. Anyway, back to the topic at hand. He throws him off the bus. Tom rolls off of the bus into the grass. And his, and his sister and brother, who his brother I am friends with. Shout out to you, my my boy. I haven't seen you in months. I haven't talked to you in months. I'm sorry I haven't talked to you. Anyway, uh, that's probably the end of this video, by the way. No more content. Well, maybe one doubles game with this random guy. Uh, shout out to I don't know why I did. Why not? Here we go. Oh. Uh, how about this? If I die, the video ends. So I don't have to do an outro. Ha, I'm lazy. So I'm probably gonna... I might just jump off. I don't know. <laughs> this guy's gonna die, though. This guy's a hacker! Wait, 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 hold on. 
No way, I can't. Oh, no!